time to dust down your old cookbooks uh, because 70s food is about to make a comeback. That's according hey. to Waitrose's hey. food <laughs> trend predictors. Who know these things? Uh, dishes like beef bourguignon, duck a la orange, uh, as well as drinks like Lee Frommert and Baby Shower. Hey. 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 I've done worse. So Have you? Well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Is that Thank you for this. Like? That's lovely. Correct. You're, oh, you're an ideal this... hostess trolley. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Oh my goodness! What is Can... it? Right. They won't tell me. They won't tell you oh, what this my... is. Get it right. open. Right. Get it okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> lovely. Um, enjoy, ladies. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. party I ever had up to the age of 18. It, it's half... I would, you're too young, you won't know what these I are. Know, but I was in the pickle onion with yeah. the pineapple. No, you've got to be cheese really? and pineapple, but yeah. not with a pickle. Cheese oh, and no. pickle onion. I don't onion. know. Yeah, Somebody that, that was not around in the 70s made that. Or cheese and pineapple, but not cheese, cheese pineapple, pineapple and pickle. onion. <laughs> what, would you, no. what would you like to see coming back? I mean, I gave a whole list there, and we've got a selection. What would oh, you like? Black Forest Gatto. Yeah. That was okay. so huge in the 70s. Do you remember that? And um, I went to, a, I stayed in a hotel in, when I was, went up to Blackpool in the summer and I stayed in a lovely B&B &B, and at breakfast they had grapefruit segments. <gasps> oh, oh, that took me right back to my childhood. Sounds really exciting. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't know what you missed in the 70s. We love a grapefruit <laughs> segment. Oh, Kim, I have to, do you know what this is? Is it Angel yeah, Delight? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Angel, Angel, Angel Delight. Angel Delights. Was that like a big 70s thing? Oh, oh yes. Massive. It and was. if you were really posh, yeah. you'd put bananas on the top like my mum did and they'd all go brown. Yeah. But, and that was like a posh. Little bit. It was funny what was posh then, because I remember, you know, my mum, you know, the height of height was to have a hard-boiled egg <laughs> cut in half. I can't yeah. be just trying this like yeah. it's like it's, it's fish lovely. ball eyes. Yes. Yeah. And did you yep, have... Yeah, as bad as it looks. Did you have a fondue set? <laughs> we had a fondue no? set, <laughs> but we never used it. You, you did the fondue. Oh, I love a whole fondue thing. I've got a fondue at, at From home. the 70s? No, no, I, I got it from Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> no, no it's, it's, from, it's from now. It's such a great love. sort of dinner party thing because you can all join in and cook your own and all that. So I'd be quite happy it with sounds, that. I really wish I'd, I'd been... I wish I was old enough to make. Oh, comments. shush! <laughs> Kim, you were doing you, know, you were doing so well as a panelist. This is delicious. <laughs> in the seventies, a glass of orange juice oh. or a hard-boiled egg with a bit of mayo on it would be seen as a starter. But it was oh, the it was beginning like of dinner parties, yeah. wasn't it? You know, phones rank. Oh, my, my <laughs> ideal night would be ABBA and and a seventies dinner party. Oh, mm. I'm going to do that for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a whole lot better than the fish paste I was forced to eat in my sandwich <laughs> the entire oh, school fish life. Paste. But the baby sham, that was it. That well, here, was the look, it's been rebranded now as well. Yeah. I never realised baby sham was alcoholic. I, I was never. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comment and wishing you were older, you did really well oh, today. Right. You enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. Well, we'll say cheers to you. Cheers. 